everyone and welcome to today's video and in this video I will be taking you through some new makeup products that I'm trying out. I placed an order with e.l.f. so I'll be showing you some of their uh, products that I'm trying out. They're not new because I hear everybody raving about these products and I just thought I'd give them a whirl. Um, and another thing that I'm trying are these brushes. I bought a brush set to hopefully have as a brush like travel set to just take with me whenever I like sleep over at my parents place or whenever I'm traveling and I just thought it would be handy to have a brush set that can do everything so I will be showing you these in this video as well um, and there's also a couple of other random bits sprinkled in between all right so I've got my hair up because it's really really hot today so let me start off by using some primer with primer done I'm going to do my brows Time for some brow gel. So now we're going to get to our first new brush and our first newish uh, makeup product. These are the brushes. They come in a little pouch like that. And um, I'm just going to be using these to apply my makeup. It's not going to be the very first time that I'm using these brushes. In fact, I've already used them once or twice just to give them a quick shot, but um, I haven't used these enough to really form an opinion on them, uh, so that's why I thought I'd use them in this video. A another newish product, I've been using this for the past few weeks, is my foundation. Since it's such a hot day, a BB cream is absolutely perfect to be using today. I'm just putting a little bit on the brush, and this is the Tea Tree BB Cream by The Body Shop. This brush is definitely a nice brush. It's not very dense or stiff, I have to say. Not as dense as I'd like my buffing brush to be, but it definitely gets the job done. Moving on to concealer, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is another newish product to me. I've used it a couple of times already, but I still have to form a thorough opinion on it. Before a shade that is almost the lightest shade in a range, I think it is actually a little bit too dark. The round conceal buffer from the set to buff this in. So I like the brush and I like the concealer. When it blends out, I do feel it really brightens up that under eye area because of the peachiness. On to powder, and this is the Healthy Mix or Healthy Balance Powder by Bourjois. And I'm going to be using it with a precision powder brush. Love the powder, the brush, mm, not so much. Um, I find it's a little bit too scratchy for my tastes. Moving on to the rest of the face, and I'll be using a few of these e.l.f. Uh, palettes. I have the e.l.f. blush palette, illuminating palette, and I have the contour palette. So far, all I've done with these is swatch them, so uh, let me put them on my face. And I'm going to be starting with the contour palette. I'm going to be using this shade right here, which is the lightest bronzer shade. Even though this is the lightest shade, it is a little bit of, uh, too warm for me, I think. So I'm going to be using the darker shade in this palette. Yeah, I think that makes for a much better contour. This brush and this contour, I think, work really well, nicely together. You can just use the flat side to draw a stripe, and then I turn it around and just buff it in like this. From the highlight palette, I'm going to be using this light shimmery shade, and I like a cooler highlight rather than a very warm one, so that's why I'm going with the pinky shade. If you're into more of a subtle highlight, then the e.l.f. illuminating palette is also a good one. But I thought I would be using the bronzer that's in this one. Down the neck, temples. So that was the powder brush again. I'm going to take the angled contour brush and this really bright pink shade. Oh, wow, that's some good pigmentation. <laughs> I like a good bit of blush. I'm going to move on to eyes, and I'm going to be using two e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes. So I'll be using the e.l.f. Prism eyeshadow palette in Sunset, as well as the Matte for Matte palette, which looks like this. I'm just going to do a bit of shimmer on the eye and then a little bit of 
uh, a darker shade in the crease and something on the lower lash line. So there's also a few eyeshadow uh, brushes in this set. The only thing I find that's missing is a flat shader brush. In that sense, I don't think this set is all that complete. From the e.l.f. palette, I'm going to be using this super shimmery shade. And this is sort of like a peachy, shimmery shade. It's very pretty. I really like this. With the uh, crease shader, I'm going to be taking uh, this, uh, this third shade here and put that in my crease for a bit more dimension. This is very stiff. It's more like a very sturdy pencil brush, so I'm gonna take this along the lower lash line and it works a lot better for that, I find. I'm going to take my soft blending brush, blender brush, and I'm going to use one of these darker shades here. I think I'm gonna go in with this. Here we go. Oh, this is a much nicer brush for the crease. You can't really see this very well on camera, I find, and also in real life, there's only a little bit of a haze. So I'm gonna see how much I can darken this up. These shadows take a lot of work to blend. You can get it to blend, but you have to go over it and over it and over it and over it. Um, I really like especially the Prism palette because it has some nice pops of shimmer. The matte from matte palette works, but it does take a lot of work to try and blend it out. And I think that one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of it right now is because I'm not using my usual brushes as well. For lips, I'm going to go with something bright. This is the e.l.f. matte lip color in Hot Commodity. I haven't used this yet. I also have two more neutral tones, but I thought, with such a basic eye look, I want a fun color. Mm. Very easy to apply. Be it a tad sheer. So that's it. I really hope you enjoyed my little uh, overview of some new makeup that I'm trying out. Uh, let me know if you uh, tried any of these products yourself. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will see you again next week. Bye!